Okay, now it works. I just didn't have it plugged in correctly. Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> yep. Yes. Uh, you guys heard me the whole time. I just wasn't. Mine wasn't working. Micro, seven, clear to land. So, all right. So we've got everything coming up. Let's clear a little bit the engine. Oh, it's cold. It doesn't like it so much. Takes a while to get everything up and sp and speed. Anyway, that's supposed to be recording and hopefully charging the battery. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, everything you say gets recorded there. Okay. Awesome. And then we'll play with this camera too. Put a new battery, hopefully. I didn't even check. Let's put it around. Oh, let's listen to Aedis. You're familiar with all this. Yep. They have to contact ground. We have to contact ground. Visibility one zero. Ceiling one zero thousand broken. Temperature seven two point two. Altimeter three zero one eight. Visual approaching use. Arriving and departing runway seven. Advise on initial contact. Keep information November. We have information no no. November. Track dial airport information November. Time one nine or five three Zulu. Wind zero seven zero at one zero. Visibility one zero. Ceiling one zero thousand broken. Video. Temperature 7, 2.2, altimeter 3018, visual approach in use, arriving and departing runway 7, advise on initial contact, keep information November. We do have November, I hope. Alrighty, let's film. Oh, now plug this in. For fly, do you use for flight? Oh yeah. Hello. Is that one recording the audio too? Or? No, okay. this one is not. Wind 070 at 10. Oh, quit pushing this freaking button, dummy. Dummy. Maybe like 10 minutes from the Bernabeu. Nice. Thank All you. right, let's do a run up. Now we have CHD, so the so temperature is good. Our all temperatures come up. So we go to 1700 RPM. Approximately. And I'll take care of the engine controls. I'll let you fly the airplane. Oh, really? And I'll explain you later. Yep. And thank you. So we cycle the prop three times. It's like your blades, you know. Yeah, the, the angle of range. This one, we'll, we'll set it. This one, you set the RPM and then you leave them. And then this controls the manifold pressure. Oh, so you usually leave the RPMs always at the same yep. range. Okay. And if we don't like it, we'll push the eject button. <laughs> car beat. Let's pull the car beat. All right, very good. What is the EGT? EGT is exhaust gas temperature. So what the exhaust temperature? We go to right magneto. About 50, 75. Back to both. Left magneto. About the same, 50, 75. That's all good. We have already some heater going. I mean, no, it's gonna get warm pretty quickly. Uh -huh. All right. So all this is good. We, it tends to the fuel tends to burn more from one tank to the other, but it's good. We'll change it later. Uh -huh. All right. Our, before takeoff checklist. As I do it all my manually, so I've got my master on, nav lights not on. These are two position light for uh, landing lights, and I always run one, so the way they can see me straight on. Uh -huh. Then I have uh, avionics power. These I don't use, and then the beacon on the back. Okay, it's full forward, full forward. These are cabin temperature, we're on both. Car beat is closed. The primer is locked. Prim is on on uh, uh, takeoff and flaps we don't need for takeoff and fuel is on both. There's right. like a collective in the helicopter. <laughs> so as far as takeoff, <clears throat> we're gonna taxi together and then once you go, don't touch the brakes on the runway because you don't wanna, you know, drag, you don't wanna. And so you'll only touch the bottom of the rudder, but I will help you with the rudder because it has a tendency to go right. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, left, so we'll pull right. Okay. Once you reach about 60, 65, I'll tell you to pull. And you're going to have to pull relatively hard on the controls because they're kind of heavy. Um, so it's very, it's fairly sensitive on the pitch, but you'll have to pull hard. And then the ailerons are not very sensitive. And then we'll probably shoot straight out. Okay. All righty, here we go. Seven power, Skyline 6021, Bravo, Bravo 1, ready to go eastbound. Skyline 6021, Bravo, Trotel, Tower eastbound, departure straight out, approved, runway 7, clear for takeoff. Runway 7, uh, clear takeoff straight out, 31 Bravo. All right, when you're ready, you, when we're lined up, you go full power with that one. Uh -huh. All right, still clear on the left. Okay, see how we're steering into it? Yep. All righty, so grab the black knob, and once we are straight into the runway, go full power. 
slowly. So go all the way in, all the way in. There you go. I'm trying to help you keep it straight on the runway. Okay. Oop. Close this one and pull back. Pull. Yep, there you go. Leave it there. Not too high on the nose, just a little bit less. There you go. Let it climb. And we're climbing at about the right speed, somewhere between 90 and 100 miles an hour. Okay. You're going to be able to pull the nose up. All right, we're climbing a thousand foot a minute, 1,200. So that's two, four, six, eight thousand, 1,200. Matter of fact, you can pull the nose just a little bit higher. Good. All right, we're climbing at 14, 1,500 foot a minute. Wow. This one has 230 horses. Yeah, it feels faster <laughs> than a helicopter. That's for sure. So let's put the nose down just a little bit, because I'm going to pull back on the power a little bit, because uh -huh. we don't need the full power, so I'm going to pull back and first of all the manifold pressure, and yep. bring it back into the green, about, about 21, 22 uh -huh. are there, and then at the same time I'm going to start pulling the propeller back, and I'm going to bring it back to about 2300 RPM. Yep. Oh, so we're catching some rain. It doesn't need all that power. You see, so that's about 22, and we'll go to 22 inches and about 2,300 RPM. Uh -huh. okay. About 2,300 RPM. We control that with this, and about 21 inches. Do you have to control now the pedal, or you just leave it? Not there too much. There? I'm just holding a little bit of right pedal because on climb it has a tendency, it has a tendency to go when you're on this pitch. It has a tendency to go left, uh -huh. so we we'll just use a little right pedal. You want to tell, try to tell uh, left face. Right uh, where are we going, by the way? <laughs> Straight down the gorge. Okay. Left face runway seven, clear for the option zero one hotel. We're at 1,400 feet, 1,400. We can climb about 2,000. So should I keep the airspeed at 90 or...? Uh, we can accelerate. We okay. can push it down. And you, this is your trim that allows you... So let me feel the airplane real quick. Yep. I got it. Yeah, you can. Uh, that's probably good. Because you can adjust. If it wants to do nose dive, you're going the same direction. You pull back. If uh -huh. it wants to climb, you can push it down forward. Okay. So that you don't have pressure on the controls. Yep. On the trim. So that's the way it is. All right. Let's see. We have somebody up there. Nobody else on the board. No, we're good. And it's still filming. Whoa! Again bumpy. A little bit. Ooh. It's like it's like flying in a in a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't like the bumps. <laughs> no, not at all. Not yet used to bumps. Neither am I. Are you used to the bumps? I don't know. Nobody Not really. Right Still a student. So. Yep. Go ahead and push the nose down and we'll just uh, let, it, let it be there. Can I keep this altitude to that? Yeah, approximately. Okay. We'll see how it feels. Alright, now we're talking again. Anna is really loving it. Yes, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and outside. Really, really smooth. Not like helicopters. It's all the vibrations. Uh, yeah, no. We are going. I don't even know. Down the gorge. And... He's flying. I'm trying. Wendy. Eventually, I'll match the audio. Okay. So, oh, that's nice. Yet yeah, today we're flying a little bit, just a little bumpy, not too too bad. You get used to it, Anna. Yeah. <laughs> How long will it take to get used to it? Oh, it really depends on the person. Ah, oh, okay. So you, it will take me forever, I guess. If you just relax and don't worry about it, 
you, you can get used to it very quick. Yeah, it was I guess a, so. I'll tell you about it. Was, I went flying maybe a month ago with a friend of mine in his airplane, and we were out east, uh, much a little further that way. You know when we were over Hood River, just past Hood River, we hit the mother load of bumps. Oh, oh my God, the airplane dropped from underneath us. The, his iPad flew over into my lap. <laughs> We all looked down and said, the wings are, the wings are still attached. Yeah. <laughs> they don't fall off, you know, but it was one of those things that's like, oh. It, it, you know, the seatbelt helps you from hitting the ceiling. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't happen hardly ever. It's getting better. Oh, yeah. It's, it looks like just a little. That's kind of normal. There are days that are super smooth. I flew a couple of weeks ago and it was extremely smooth. But it doesn't happen all that often. It is normal. Little little choppy. With 109 knots. So actually there's very little wind in reality. Uh -huh. We're doing about the speed ground 110 knots, which is about what we're indicating there, so. There's very little wind in reality. So. Can we put like trim to push the nose down? Yeah, just push, push forward on that thing. A little bit more. Yeah, there you go. There, trim. How does it feel? A little bit better. It's a it's a feel thing. You do a little bit. Yeah. See, do a little bit more. I see the first waterfall. Yes. So what do we have? We have we have Multnomah Falls coming up very soon, which are the most famous ones are over there. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. It's gonna be over here. You'll see. There's a big parking lot in the yeah. middle of the highway, and then this is another good hike right here. Um, uh, this is called Angel's Rest. Okay. Another one that is very nice. You climb up there, get a great view of the valley, and it's it's easy to get to. And it's a little shorter than the than uh, Dog Mountain. Yeah. Okay. It's very nice. Very nice hike. Oh. The heat is working pretty well, huh? Yep. And is your first time flying? Yesterday we went. Yes. Oh. Okay. And you know, I'm a little bit anxious with heights and bumps and. You're doing actually really well. Yeah. You are. And that's it. It's we're facing a little bit what's something that bothers you. You should see the falls coming up really really soon right there. Yeah, they look amazing. They are. You gotta go see. You know what? I gotta change the frequency. Hang on. I forgot to change the frequency to the local. Wow. We gotta go drive out there and take a look actually. Maybe this afternoon. If he's busy studying, you just take the car and go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so there was a big fire right here four years ago. Yeah. Four or five years ago that burned half the gorge. Oh. I get some weird indication on my voltage, which I, I think is indication only. I'm going to change this switch, actually, I think. We're still filming. Now we can look at... Over there. Beautiful. What's the plan? Where are we planning to go? Maybe land a keyway. Oh yeah? Okay. For two minutes, we'll land, say hello, and take off again. Uh, you, uh, did you fly the helicopter there? You did not fly the helicopter. Yeah. You did, I thought. I that's did, right, yeah. that's right, because you actually had the best landing of them all. <laughs> oh yeah? You were one of those uh, we were looking like, hey, he did really well. <laughs> yeah, you'll see with an airplane, it's a little different. Why? Why because it's, uh, it's a little tricky, you know, you got to come in. Oh, yeah, for planes? Yeah, yeah the helicopter, you can slow down. You, you, the airplanes, you got to yeah, yeah, yeah. keep flying. That's for sure. But it's 
I've landed there many, many times. It, uh, it's got its challenges as a pilot, but once you know it, it's not particularly hard. You just gotta go it right. This is a nice going more than 100 knots. Yeah, we're doing 122 right now. On the ground. And yeah, we're so indicating about 107, 115. So we have a little bit of tailwind, but not much. Yeah, yeah. Easy to fly, right? Oh yeah. I don't take too much. I mean, to land this thing, I don't know, like, uh -huh. has to be harder, but at least to cruise, uh, fizz. Well, and the thing is, so Keyway won't be the, the ideal landing, even for even for new pilots, some pilots that already have their license experience. Uh -huh. I would say take a little bit of training, go in with an instructor, you know, because it's not the usual airport. It's a little bit on a hill, it's a one way in, one way out. Yep. You, you don't exactly. want to go, once you're down low, you commit, you land. Yep. Uh, but it isn't that hard, but it is difficult, and it visually, it's very strange. I know you saw it, you get these tall trees and you get to head into the slot. So it's not the normal airport, which is wide open and you just aim for the beginning of the runway. It's a little different, but it isn't all that hard. Um, just got to get past the visual the visual cues. So. Yeah, no, it was really amazing to see the planes landing in there. Yeah. In the small, in between the trees and all that. I spy waterfalls down there too. Are you good? Are you okay? The control's doing good? I just keep that hard because I have to push constantly like... Then we do this? Oh, okay, much better. Yep. But it was just like little movement in the trim though. Yep, yep, you just gotta make it, you gotta learn. Let's see what looks down, down here. Okay, we're coming up to the dam. Cascade locked. I could have made a call, but there's only one guy over there. Oh, look at the cloud in the valley over there. That's kind of neat. <laughs> yep. Beautiful. So what, are we going to cross midfield and then yeah. join the right Yeah, we'll go, we'll go overhead and we'll cross midfield coming this way. Oh, okay. To the left. Yep. So... Let's stay at 2,000, so let's not let it climb too much more. Uh, descent more. Yeah. And you can start making your turn towards the end of that cloud right there. Look at that cloud right there. Cloud. This is going to be fun. Keyway traffic. Skyline 603 on Bravo. 3 to the uh, southeast-west. And stop for a full stop. Keyway. Taking a break from the filming. Where is the airport? Over there. Oh, I always have a <laughs> hard time to find yeah, it. Yeah, me the too. Is. It's over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just fly over there and then you will find it. Yep. Uh, we will use a little carbide as we come in because there's a little bit of moisture in the air. I don't use a carbide as much as other people. Uh huh. But I try to use it when it's the right time. So then you've got also uh, Cascade Lock Airport right there. Yep. That one's also, it's another little bit challenging to go into, especially landing in this direction. I've landed it that way, it's a little easier. But if you come in towards the west, so 2-4, you have yep. those tall trees that you got to come in. And the runway is not super long, but it's a fun one to land. And it's not hard to take off uh, runway 6? <coughs> well, and again, I took off runway 2-4. So I landed 6, we had to take off for that day there was no winds. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you let, take off runway six, you want to make sure you climb. You climb quickly, so it's a, a little more challenging. Watch your descent rate. All right. So the airport is going to be right there. It's hard to see, but I can tell you where it is. So just keep going in this heading, because that way we'll make our turn overhead. Okay. And I like to be at about 2,000 overhead. Then I'll take over the airplane and yep. I'll, I'll do the landing. That's good. Oh, look at the clouds on the back. Yeah. There's just one little cloud right here. All right. Before landing takeoff, we're still on both. Oh, right Lights. there. All is set, my switches are set. This is good. We'll push the, all the controls in in a moment. And we're good to go. Yep. 
All right, airport looks good. There's All right. turn. Or I'll go ahead and yeah, stay with me. I'll, I got the controls here. Yep. All righty. Beautiful. We'll turn that way, and I want to be just a little bit wide because I want to look down, make uh -huh. sure the runway is completely clear. Auto safety. All right. Oh, just getting excited. Oh, yeah, I think she knows where we're going. Yes, she did. Let's slow down a little bit. Okay, we'll keep in our turn. So I got the airplane now, but you can stay on the controls and okay, see what yeah. I'm doing. Yeah, the controls. Keyway traffic, uh, scanning 603 on Bravo, we'll fly for a left downwind runway 33 keyway, full stop. Yep, Jay's there. All right, so we're going to enter our left downwind. At this point, I'm going to bring in the propeller because we're going to need propeller. Okay. If we need to land, so we're going to go ahead and slow the airplane down and turn on a left downwind. the airplane down and then over that field i like to be at about 1700 we're slow enough that i can actually put one notch of flaps right now and it will help us come down a little bit of car beat while we're at it five we're gonna slow down as we go perfect i'm gonna put another notch of flaps right now and we'll probably be about 1,700 over the field, maybe a little bit lower, actually. Let's hold a little bit of altitude. Don't need to be quite that low yet. And we're going to turn base and then final. Keyway traffic has got in 603 on the hour turning final. 33 full stop, Keyway. Hey, notches. <coughs> Sorry, I got still a little bit of a cough from my stupid cold that I had. All right, there's the airport. You see it, Anna? Uh, no, yes. Right in front now of me. <laughs> right in front. I need to stretch a bit to see it, but I see it, yeah. Pablo, this one we skipped yesterday. <laughs> you didn't land in this one? No, because I said, I think I've done. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much for you? Yeah, a little bit. But uh, honestly, this Mount Hood trip, it, like the whole trip was super amazing. Uh, but around Mount Hood, it's just stunning. And we're on. Oh, really Let's nice. go say hello to Jay and my wow. window. My window. Oh, Moose. Okay, well then. <laughs> <laughs> she opened the window. <laughs> I want to get the fresh Tio. air. There's Tio. We're going to park right here today. That was a really smooth landing. Thank you. I think you're a master in... Negatory. No, 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 no. Let's go say hello. Good, really, really nice people here. Jay and Tio that own the airport. They're very, very nice. All right. Let's stop this. All right. Now we're recording. Awesome. I want to first charge. If I plug it in, it's gonna go wonky or not? No, okay. You guys ready? Yeah, we'll go. We'll go all the way to the end, do a little run up, and then. Okay. No traffic. So how do you do with the fuel? Do you just choose whatever or is... Yeah, it's like? feeding for both tanks, okay. so it doesn't matter. One can be low, the other one will feed. Uh -huh. 
We'll take off with one launch of flaps, just one. Two is my normal, it's a short field, south field, uh -huh. but we don't need it because it's not short, but one will keep the, the wing a little lighter uh -huh. on takeoff. So. Are you braking now, for example, for the... Like, a little bit for the turn, yeah. So we'll do a quick run up, make sure the engine is still running correctly. Magneto drops are good, everything else is set. Alright, are you guys ready? Yep. Yes. I'll do this takeoff, but watch this, it's fun. <laughs> There we go. It was also a smooth one. Good job. <coughs> do you also use this radio? I do. This one's my, I mostly use it for uh, you, uh, for the ATIS. Okay. Yeah. An airplane, you can once it's trimmed correctly, you don't have to hold the controls. Oh, you, you can you can fly. This is really nice for uh, instruments, I guess. <laughs> Instrument flying. <laughs> yeah. In a helicopter is a pain in the ass. It is. It's easier in an airplane. This is not correct. I got 13.5 on voltage over there. Something, I think this gauge is going bad, honestly. Well, usually it says like 14 or? Yeah, it's supposed to be about 14. This is 13.5 right here. That uh -huh. one, that one reads 12.3. Well, okay. But this is the alternator out. The alternator is still working fine. Uh -huh. I don't know why it's reading that low on the voltage when I have that my garment says which takes the voltage from the same spot at 13.5. I think this cage is going bad. I'm going to order a new one. Uh -huh. Actually, I actually think there's a there's a, a part in there that I might be able to change. Wait. All right, let's check the ATIS. Temperature 8, 2.3, all 3, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,
We have Papa. Oh, good. Look, Moose is, is fine. <laughs> oh. And what yeah, do you do for a living? For what? Oh, I'm a mechanic for United Airlines. Oh, wow. For the big planes? Yeah. Yeah. They're just bigger ones than this. <laughs> what do you think? Theo, Theo's really nice, and so is, is Jay. They're really nice people. I really yeah. love them. Yeah, 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 they're amazing. I really like going out there and seeing them. They're just good people. I'll reset this. <coughs> Getting bumpy. Ah. Yeah, I remember this one. Uh, uh, crossing the midfield, left down one and two five Grove. Grove. Is it good? Yeah, it's fine. So how much did you pay for this aircraft? 39. Well, traffic. And thousand. 18586. Yeah, it's, it's, it's worth more, well, more now yeah, because the prices went up. Oh, oh yeah? To join the when when did you get this aircraft? Uh, three years ago. Okay. Wait, right, I gotta start ignoring this because the voltage is good. It's being... It's getting very annoying, so I'm starting to wonder if this is the problem, it's this gauge. Thatcher, tug cross runway. This is the important one. Yeah. Yeah. It tells me the alternator is still working fine, and it is. Yep. The first time you have that problem? No, it's been going on forever, and okay. I've changed a bunch of parts. Brand new alternator, we new voltage. I've changed the battery, changed a bunch of stuff. And uh, it still shows discharge, which is not true. Uh -huh. It was a low voltage, yeah. but it isn't true. This one reads, so this is the Garmin that is connected through the bus, right. and this uh -huh. one reads 13.5 volts. Yep. Left close traffic, the two hotel. Yep. All right, so far I've done two landings with you that were really yeah, nice and smooth. Hopefully the third one would be the same. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it will be. Helicopter one micro remote company helicopter as you inside. They're ahead and to right for the Rava High. Okay, How much stuff do you have until overhaul? Uh, but it's actually above TBO, but I put new cylinders, and uh, because it's not a school airplane or anything, I don't have to respect that at all. Uh -huh. I can just run it okay. as long as it was, it's uh, safe to run, you know, you can check a lot of things. So that's why uh, it has all new cylinders on it, so uh -huh. in good shape. That's really nice. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm Mac Romeo. Yeah. 44 flying. What is the tail number of this? Okay, 6 to hotel, tell, wind 0 tell, right time, runway 7, clear for the option. Runway 7, clear for the option, 6 to hotel. It has to be really nice to do across country with this. Yeah, we went to of. San Francisco. Yeah. In Air 22. And I know, that's a lot. No, this is nice. You can relax. Yeah. You know, after a while, just relax and yeah. barely control it. You don't, you know, you, you let the altitude wander a little bit. And uh -huh. in VFR, it's nice. Yeah. Let's come up this way a little bit. We'll go further away from that. That spur of rock, when there's wind, it always creates more turbulence, like she knows yesterday. Or, or to the left a little. Okay. Helicopter 8 Alpha Delta at Bravo 2 requesting air taxi back to the North Cone. Helicopter 8 Alpha Delta air taxi North Cone via Bravo. Air taxi via Bravo to the North Cone at Alpha Delta. Try 
Bravo Tower, good afternoon, it's uh, 6031 Bravo 12, good evening, stand by on the way to Bravo. Skyline 6031 Bravo, Trump to Tower, good evening, enter left down for runway 7. Left down one, runway 7, 31 Bravo. Easy now. The what? Easy. What was the yes, yes, wing again? Do you remember that? We got to lose it. Tri-Teller for information, Papa, time 2153, Zulu, winter 7, Jurat, 6, visibility 1. It's pretty mild, very low wind, 6. Yeah. But usually when we use runway 7, it's we get high winds. Yeah, exactly, it's a little strange. Yeah. But it's still 6 knots, so they will go that way. I think below 5 they can switch, but above they'd like to keep it. Uh -huh. yeah. That's annoying. <laughs> See if I can get a decent footage like this. For a time lapse, maybe. Yeah, I'll put together a little video yeah. of us talking. It'll be funny that you can show it to. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Without hands. No hands. <laughs> this is new for me. First time. So let's hands. descend down to uh, below 1500. Okay. Because we're gonna enter. You see this space. Yeah. Tower for six to hotel. You just want us to keep making left close closed traffic unless you tell us otherwise. Yeah, don't descend nearly that fast. Seven, clear for the option. Seven, clear for the option. Six to hotel. Thank you. We do the pattern at uh, is, is uh, somewhere between 1000 and 1100. So okay. we'll descend yeah. there, but you don't need to be quite that aggressive on descending. We can bring it. Okay. Is fine or? Yeah. <clears throat> and we'll have to enter a left downwind runway 7, so you know where that is. Yep. I'll let you do all that, then we'll do the landing together. I'll do it, but you just follow what I'm doing. Okay. You know, just pay attention. Sounds good. So I would say stabilize around 1200 yep. once we get down. And then as we get on the pattern, we'll descend a little bit more. Okay. Landing checklist, fuel still on both, we'll adjust this. Make sure we will run a little car beat as we get on the pattern. Uh, everything else is good. What is the pattern for fixed wind? Like, what, what is the downwind? Uh, almost exactly where you are. Okay. There isn't a real exact science to it, but here. But somewhere you see where the, uh, the Amazon uh, warehouse is, you go to the right side a little bit. Somewhere yep. between, halfway between the runway and the river. Okay. About right. Okay, yeah. I will hold about this altitude for now. That'll be perfect. We're, we can go underneath the class, uh, Charlie. Yep. Then eventually on the pattern, we will uh, slow it down to bring the flaps in. Generally, I like to put one flap when I'm beating the numbers on runway seven, uh -huh. and then maybe two coming in. And I'll land with only two. It's, uh, it has four notches, but four, it's like putting the brakes on. <laughs> the airplane will descend like this. It's okay. not necessary. This one lands. There, I use three because it's a little better. Yeah, but run Bravo, wind 0605, runway seven, clear one, number two, be honest, that's not short final. Number two, clear to land, two, uh, runway seven, three, one, Bravo. On your right hand side is the wastewater treatment plant. Yes, there is. You you know all about that, eh? Yeah. Right there, she, that's her specialty. Yeah. Wastewater treatment. Yeah. Yes. Oh. I'm fascinated by that because <laughs> so many community needed and. Yep. Oh man. Beautiful. And you saw that airport right there is spectacular. That place is, yeah. um, and, and camping out there at night, there's, you, you can see all the stars. There's almost no light pollution at all up there. So it's really nice. A little easier than the helicopter. Yeah. We 
can manage our speed. Right now we're still going pretty quick. You know, we really wouldn't need to go quite this fast, but... Turn 6 to hotel, extend up one. Is easy to lose airspeed up with this? This one is okay. Some airplanes are a little less. We're easy. There's another airplane that just took off and is somewhere here. We were like number two. Yeah, but I think he did a touch and go. Oh, okay. Oh, right there. Did you see the highway? Yep, there it over. is. Good, good call. Thank you. That's all. Let's keep the speed up so that way we'll give him room. Yep. All right, and I got the airplane. Still got the control. So right now we're going to slow it down a little bit. Because eventually we need to get a new wide arc for the flaps, because you cannot Front extend them. Hotel, left post traffic crew for runway seven, clear for the option over two behind a sky lane in the midfield left down. Six hotel, clear for the. And we can bring in the propeller that will help us slow down. Number two, runway seven, six hotel. So you see, as it you know, losing speed on this one is not particularly easy, but. And Here we are. As a matter of fact, yeah, we're, no, we're, <laughs> we're actually right for an airplane. Uh, so you see, we got to go into the wide arc. Yeah. And then we can put one notch of flap. That will allow us to slow down quite faster. Then, as a matter of fact, since, since we're a little high and fast, we'll put two notches. And then you'll see, it, and it can drop out of the sky really easily, this one. All right, we're good. Let's put some carby down just to help us in case we need to go around. And about 80 miles an hour, but it will slow down to 75. Oh, that's miles per, miles per hour? Yes, it's not not it's miles per hour on this one. It's an old airplane, 1957. Yep. All right. I'm happy with the car beat. Let's put it back in. 75. We'll slow it down to 70 on final. And then maybe 65. And we're a little high, but that's okay. We've got plenty of runway, right? Yep. So let's just slow it down. Keep the center line. Okay, two notches is perfect. It's bringing us in at 75, which is a little on the fast side. And we'll slow it down just a little more. And as you get closer to the runway, the idea is to <clears throat> slow down your descent. So you pull back on the nose, pull the power back on the airplane, and then just hold it off the runway. Hold it, hold it. Bounce a little bit more there. And we can off, be off a of Bravo 3 for the next guy. Awesome. Very nice. Yes. Yeah. 3 1 Bravo, same tensions. And uh, off a Bravo 3, we're going to go out to uh, Hangar City. So 3 1 Bravo, taxi Hangar City, via Bravo, March Ground 18. Angle City, be a bit on ground. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we won't be able.